Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. This is Jenny. Today, I thought we'd talk about reevaluating our prepping plans. sure you all know those of you that have been around I think it is super important to have plans goals lists things like that for you to work on get all your stuff together so you're able to get all of your preps and get everything in order and with everything so chaotic in this world right now I think it's important to take a little bit of time and just reevaluate our prepping plans maybe switch gears a little bit I am in no way saying slow down or don't do this I am <laughs> I'm saying you know we may have to reevaluate and do things a little bit differently when we go to the grocery store or anywhere out there to anywhere to get something and we are not able to get things we have to make quick decisions to get something else or get nothing at all and I think it's important with all this different stuff going on the supply chain problems inflation we've now got the Ukraine Russia thing going on and that is going to cause more problems it's going to cause bigger hikes in gas it's going to cause all kinds of trouble here for us as well as over there it's going to affect everyone when stuff like this goes on it really it has a ripple effect if you can raise your own me I think that is absolutely the best way to go then you know what you can count on if you're doing it yourself you know what's in it and you know what you can count on there are small animals that you can raise even in apartments rabbits quail things like that um, chickens some places will allow you to have chickens even in the city a lot of places will allow you to have chickens sometimes the rooster is a problem because they can be a little bit noisy I think now is the time to look over your plans and see what it is that you're working on all this different stuff that you're working on what is the most important stuff maybe evaluate which things need to come first now you know with the cost of fuel rising it gives us the cost of electricity rising and it there's a very good chance that if this continues we a lot of people are going to be priced out of electricity they're just not going to be able to afford to have it you know my monthly electric bill went up at a little over $75 last month and so that's just one month and as this progresses and gets worse they still use a lot of fuel to create the electricity I know there are wind all these wind places and all that we have all kinds of them around here you can all these wind farms and you know solar and things like that but most of the electricity created is created with fuel so we need to remember and keep our eye on that and look at other ways we can go having a generator if you don't have a generator is getting a generator a way for you to be able to keep limited electricity in your home and you know I'm not talking gas generator because if you can't afford electricity you're probably not going to be able to afford gas for the generator but a solar generator they have turbines for some of them that may help you know we have in the winter time we have a good array of solar panels but in the winter time we still don't pull in top sun for those solar panels so a wind turbine can definitely be helpful when you have four or five cloudy days you know the wind might be kicking up you can get it somehow but there are definitely lots of different options and even refrigeration without electricity there are ways they had it long ago they would bury buckets in the ground they had many different ways that they did that to keep their foods cold so they wouldn't go bad and I think looking into those different avenues can be very helpful so I definitely am not saying 
don't keep prepping but I think it is a good time with all of this chaos and insanity going on in this world that we take the time to really reevaluate what our priorities are with prepping, which direction we're going in, and how much we really are going to need. So I just wanted to take a few moments today and just, you know, give everybody a, you know, hang in there, keep going, don't stop, but take a step back and reevaluate that plan. What are your priorities? What are things that you need to work on right now? Where do, are you headed? Where do you want to end up? Write lists, write yourself goals, put those down on paper. If you've got those goals written down on paper, you've got something to work towards. And as you get them done, check them off. It really, it makes you see how much you're really doing. Because sometimes if you're just flying by the seat of your pants, you're not really seeing how your successes are and how much you're really getting done. You know, if your plan is to have six months worth of vegetables, then when you get, figure out what that is for your family. And when you get there, check that off water filter check it off you know all those things heating lighting anything like that that you're looking for or working towards definitely write it on a list and check those off it really gives you that gratification and it helps you it helps push you a little bit more you're like hey i did a b c d and e i could definitely do the rest of this stuff no problem. I am such a list person anyway. You guys know that. I love lists. Mm -mm. But they just, they really do help. When you check that stuff off, you're like, okay, got that done. Don't have to worry about that no more. Can work on this. That's done. Focus on this. That's done. Focus on this. So really, it gets you going. It keeps you going. And you you get there quicker, I think, because you're really focused on certain things at certain times. I just wanted to share this quick little thing, have everybody just some food for thought. Maybe you have already reevaluated what you're doing or you've switched up your list or who knows. But if you haven't, now's a good time to take a look at that. Things are getting crazy. It's getting harder and harder to find things and you may want to switch gears look somewhere else or find something else that will work in place of that. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.